hello guys welcome back to the channel so the ant man buff is live and i am very excited about this buff i think they did a great job so i am going to explain his all new abilities and his playstyle damage rotation everything so let's talk about the new immunities ant man is having so now ant man is completely immune to poison and shock so i think there are a lot less shock immune champs in the game and shock immunity itself is a utility as it, uh, it helps us to counter nodes like emp modification and other annoying nodes also and poison immunity is also a great thing to have so those two adds on the utility side of antman next let's discuss about the new ability of not gaining any kind of buff so as we all know that science champs have this ability some science champs have the specific ability that they can't gain buffs this is very useful in countering some annoying mystic champs like dormammu ebony maw as well as mystic dispersion mastery as well as nodes like buffy so antman will be great in this matchups this also adds on his ability side and whenever he was supposed to gain any buff instead he gains a pim particle it is a passive thing and it is very useful in refreshing his fatigue and poison debuffs so whenever antpen was supposed to gain any buff he will be gaining this pim particles instead so let's discuss how we can ramp up his damage so antpen can gain up to 12 fatigue debuffs that's the max amount of stacks he can gain and so my main aim in this fight was to gain 12 fatigue debuffs continuously refresh them by using the pim particles so whenever you are having a pim particle you can use them to refresh your fatigue or poison debuffs by either intercepting the opponent or countering their heavy attack so my aim was to stack up 12 fatigue debuffs continuously refresh them and uh, in a match up where you can't gain automatic you can't gain uh, buffs automatically uh, you can just continuously dex to build the spin particles it's very similar uh, to using stark spidey where you gain poise charges by dexing so yeah you can perform 4 to 5 dexes gain the beam particles and then start ramping up uh, his damage so you can see that i am continuously refreshing the fatigue debuffs until i re reach my special 2 and then i threw my special 2 so after i threw my special 2 you can see the poisons are dealing a very good amount of damage so keep in mind by and man is only rank 1 level 7 so being a rank 1 level 7 champ he is doing a good constant source of damage and this poisons are also reducing pulverins healing completely the fatigues were good enough to reduce the healing but the poisons doesn't need the despair mastery they can reduce the healing on their own you can try that against pulverin weapon x so i think uh, andman will be a great healing counter as well as you can see in this fight and then i just uh started building pot to throw my special 3 so that i can use the petrify but the petrify was not that useful so yeah it was uh, you can say it went in vain but still that petrify can be useful in some other cases also i'm sure about that so i think you guys got the point how